Hey, a good Tuesday night to you and a special welcome to the special election edition of WVUA News at 10. I'm Daniel Sparkman. And I'm Tamika Alexander. Very busy night for our it team is. tonight. Now we have team coverage of tonight's Tuscaloosa Municipal Elections and we have some interesting thing happening. Now let's take a look at the races starting with City Council. We'll start with City Council District 1. We had four people running for that office. Bobby Howard came in with 414 votes and Burrell Odom with 465 votes. There will be a runoff between those two gentlemen. Greg Stallworth with 203 votes and Pan Pango Wilson had 177 votes. Going on Lots going tonight. on. Lots of numbers coming in. Mm -hmm. We're getting it as people at home are getting it, so <laughs> please are. bear with us. <laughs> and we're, now we're going to start to break down some of these races. A lot of news coming in from City Hall tonight with the City Council races. WVUA's Katie Malone has been around Tuscaloosa today collecting some information from candidates in many districts, and she has the latest now from City Hall. Welcome back. We continue our special election edition of WVUA News at 10 with the school board races in Tuscaloosa. The District 4 race has been a closely watched one that included political newcomer Case and Kirby facing off against incumbent Kelly Horwitz. And Kirby has been elected to represent District 4, but as you may recall, this race centers around alleged voter fraud. Mm -hmm. WVUA reporter Jennifer Edwards has been covering this race for us this evening, and she joins us now live in the studio with more.